Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new series called Abandoned Sh Ship, where we apparently are going to be playing. Fix this right up for you, though. Alrighty. I was unaware of just how poorly that this lined up. There we go. When we're doing story. I tried to do this. Um, but apparently I didn't record, actually, the first two episodes, so we're going to start again. So this would have gone up last week, but sadly, tutorials off, difficulty normal, player-generated names, that'll be our world seed. So if you guys want to hang out, or rather we can do 144, and the current date is March... Uh, today is the 27th, and the year is 2018. Um, yeah. So I like doing it. I like doing it this way. But yeah, if you guys enjoy a wild chorus, the birth of a monster, do press that like button subscribe. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this cursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You're drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, the place is in garden in our, no, their moment of triumph. <coughs> Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? Alright, so we're basically picking our crew. I keep the name Severed One, by the way, because I love it. Um, I basically like going with a gunner. So we'll unlock him. I like surgeons. And I think we're gonna be going with Marine. I you I went with a sailor last time. But why? Like I want fighters. You and your new companions search through the labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door. Light seeps in through cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face, looking out at the winding path ahead. <sighs> Excuse me. Looking down at the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for, a ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Everyone get on board, you go there, you can just chill here, Gunner, get up there, you get back there. Alright. We're escaping the cult. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a sip of my water before I read this again. Oh, apparently I'm out of water. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away, a high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows. He sees you. Always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt, to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. <coughs> They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here.
All right, the bottom one has the star on it, so that's where we're going. A patrolling culture has stumbled upon us. Man, the guns. We all have them. Shoot, man. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to save these positions. Just for now. I mean, we don't really need anything else. I think we're going to target you guys. If I can hit all three of you. Oh, you are out of range. Okay. Wait, no. You don't go there. You go there. You go there. We want to try getting in closer to range. <laughs> but they're backing out, which means that we're going to have to hit their sails. Captain is apparently injured on their side. Boo freaking who? Alright, you're going to be our... No. Our primary repair guy. I like them one more time before we uh, cast off on this. All right, let's take him back here. Talk to you. You go back there. Let's hit you guys out. I'm gonna change your heading to right there. Nope, I'm gonna change your heading to right there again then. Golly, you're really gonna go heal. Wow, their camp your their captain's a little punk. Oh, you're gonna go heal again already. It's fine by me. Dang it. They're going to be healed by the time I get this fully up. Which I mean, I guess is fine. Shoot them. Let's bring you to go repair this bad boy. We'll have them sunk, so I don't really mind it. They're going to be going back here. I'm going to just focus fire both sets of shots. And let's actually just put our gunner on this one also. We'll have two hands. Two men uh, bombarding him with it. Because they're going to be sunk right now. They're going out cold. Cold as ass. And. Boom. What? You guys wanted to fight. Can't be sore losers. You lost. Grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on their way. Yeah, we're going to leave combat. And we'll go here. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant uh, before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You throw them neatly, you stow them neatly away, knowing they may have, may yet have their use. Examine yourself in the mirror. Me a dude, I still like severed one. I like that skin tone. You're the severed one. Once devotion to father was the future you needed. Now something has changed. You are no longer an unquestioning crucial part of the whole. Now you are severed and free. You can edit your name in the crew management menu. You don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past uh, was stolen away by being known as father. Some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it if you have any chance to remaking yourself. Then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. <coughs> you reemerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. You may have escaped. Uh... We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments, late, 
Later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the flaw was clearing. So yeah, it's based off of this because I had a lot of time to speculate on stuff. I think that we were actually the first cultist. But I don't fully know, so I'm excited to find out. <coughs> Excuse me. A sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on the deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we find a port. Alright, I like to look at the whole map before I actually do any of the, um... <coughs> before I do any of the events. As you can find a decent number of goodies just by wandering around. I wonder what happens if I just jut right here. Okay, so it just picks a path and just goes to it. Fascinating. But yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, um naval type game. No, let's just let's go for broke. The opposing cult fleet is spread wide across the waters. Are they searching for you or merely pursuing some other ominous errand? Either way, the closest ship uh, changed course to intercept you. There's so many we leave for now and fast while we still have a chance. Despite them leaving their comrades far behind, the cult ship seems intent on engaging you. They'll be in range within moments. And unfortunately, we have to take him here. We'll set our sights on, not there, on here. And the second our gunner is ready, ooh, they have better gunners than we do. And they have snipers. Oh, no, you didn't. So snipers are what the thing is that we just had um, on the attack right there. They have a guy, literally, whose purpose, I guess, is to sit there and snipe us. Like, he, he literally, his only job is to uh, try shooting one of, our, one of our members. And unfortunately, they have a very good range. Alright, let's just keep on trying to get close in there. The more guys we have doing damage to stuff, the better. In fact, let's even bust open this right here. I'd rather not have anyone on there uh, sniping shot, but we're doing some pretty good damage up there. We got both of the both of their cannons on either side are going offline, plus their sail is coming undone, so we can now get in range and just start like bombarding them. I mean, so one of the first upgrades I really want to get is I want to get a couple more cannon batteries per, so this one can have three and three. But I'm thinking that I want to get a mortar, also we can have mortar right here, which is pretty freaking decent, if you ask me. I'm going to be putting this back on here. Our sail is not the best, and frankly, as long as we keep them doing the work, uh, we'll be able to to manage it uh, I just want to keep them constantly having to repair this because if they're repairing that they're not shooting at us which let's face it you guys that's kind of what we want that being said though I want to try getting a guy to start working on his uh, repair skill um, as you can see when you look at our repairing versus their repairing it is meager like we, we barely go up at all um, in fact, I might even just wait until after I'm going to have everyone just set up. <coughs> Excuse me. Just set up and repair. Because why not? Like, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. It will auto-repair. But I think just for the sake of leveling up our guys in battle, it would be a little bit better for us if we actually had them go in and I had them start repairing. Like, he's repairing now. This next volley should get us to to victory. So I'm going to have you come over here, and you're going to repair, hopefully. Yeah, you're repairing that. I want to 
watch you coming here and repairing. Just everything kind of goes up. It doesn't... Among the flots of your crew find a number of trunks, nothing but junk. One of them exclaims, another looks crestfallen. So yeah, if we hover over things, we can find out what everyone's skill is. Um, as you can see, it doesn't actually take a long time to repair. Alright, uh... Send you here, then. We have two repair on the captain, luckily. We only have one, one, and one on either guy. So that being said, I just want to try getting everyone to... <coughs> wow, my throat is just dying right now. Uh, everyone to get better at the repo job. Because later in the game, I've learned that there will be a little bit of stuff that makes it hard. Now, I haven't gotten too far... And I already had a need for the repair skill. That may just be the um, RNG that I was getting while trying to record last time. It may not. Either way, I'd rather try to... Hello. $23. I would still want to try to get as good a repair as I can. We're also going to be trying to board a little bit. I know I haven't done that yet. Uh, I turned off the... Wow, English is hard right now. I turned off the tutorials, but there's also a pause feature, which we have yet to take need of in either this playthrough or my previous one, which, to be fair, my previous one, I probably should have used it more when I was repairing, because uh, the whole point is you can pause it, make a little bit, uh, take a little bit of time on your decisions instead of having to, like, do everything, so it's... It has a, I was playing it more like an RTS, but really you have a, like a pause in there, so it's not as, as crucial for you, I guess, to pay attention to everything, which I kind of like, but, I don't know, as a added difficulty, not using it is also an option. I don't yet know how I'm going to play this one, though. I do know that I love this art style. I just absolutely love, like, if we go to the world map, you'll know we're on a painting, and as you can see, this is canvas, and it's basically we're painting in, in the whole canvas. Of course, we have two guys right up there, which is going to be bad for us later. Um, and I have to get the whole map, just because, as you saw, we had a couple of those. One, I just have to, it makes it look so much better. Which, as you saw, we had those random bits of flotsam just hanging around. All right, we'll get this guy before we leave this area down here. I just want to get to the bottom. Uh, oh, wow. <coughs> We're really low. A small speck on the horizon is moving. You sense the foul energies of the cult long before you confront, confirm their flying colors. It's head toward the cult fortress, so you doubt it has business tracking you down. That's really good, you guys, because as you can see, we're already at half health. Um, meaning, I'm probably going to have to start focusing more on ramming than taking shots. Which, as you guys saw, was my current strategy. Luckily, we do have a fighter, uh, and he will be definitely be pretty good at everything else. Uh, basically, we want to try getting everyone good at everything, so we don't have any just specialized people, I mean, they'll be, still be specialized because if you hover over... <coughs> Excuse me. It may be hard for you to see, but the, the specialty icons have little pips on them. Um, crew management. As you can see right here, the fighter has five, the doctor has five, the um, gunner has five, and then we are able to get five in all aspects. Now, we have weapons and upgrades available, which we don't have any, and our current quest that we have is fleeing, so the cult is in reach, blah, blah, reach the cult, there's another exit there, and you can search for report. So, and here is our total world map. Uh, luckily, we have ports just shown on here. 
weather shows quest show did not know that we had port show current quest open route closed route fascinating i did not know all of that and as you can see it's a pretty large size thing <coughs> No, I want to try going to all of it. So I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty large um, game. I know not all of it is incomplete yet. It is still technically early access, but we'll see what all we can get done. However, that is all the time I have for in this episode. So if you guys enjoyed, do press that like button. Let's just kill these guys. We'll go on to the next area for the next one. Sail ho, your topman bellows. You race from your cabin and squint hard into the rush of chill salt spray. There's no mistaking it. Those are cult colors, and they're getting bigger. If they remain at large, they'll carry news for location to their foul brethren. We must sink them fast. <coughs> Alright, I want to try getting closer. They're maintaining a pretty far range. I will use this just because whatever... Uh, as you can see, this little bar is filling up, which will only get better as our Severed Captain one goes up. And they have a mortar. Let's not let them use that. And let's bring you here. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, we're, we're going to ram them. It's totally about to happen are not charged and we're out of range. Right, we actually cannot ram them until we are in this center, like in this section. Which means that's what we definitely want to do. Hopefully we're going to get a lot closer. I'm going to change my trajectory and try targeting that too. Alright. Fire in on their bad boy. No, we really don't want you getting in there. I want to wanna have you hit this. I'm looking at our thing. Like, it's not going down any time we hit them. <coughs> All right, we're about to be in range. Wait for it. Are you bracing? All right, and everyone goes over. Oh, shit. Did we just lose? <coughs> Huzzah, victory sweet, but sweeter still is the booty that remains. Uh. Uh. Oh, thank God. You dropped through these to feel like a language. You sense a massive ancient intelligent emergency. You scan the horizon, you see it. Unnatural disturbance, and it's approaching fast. You know what, you guys? I'm going to call it here, and we'll, find, we'll come back in the next episode and see what's going on. See you guys then.